Oh, relax. Don't attack him. Don't attack him. Don't attack him. He's crazy. Oh. Oh, look at him. He wants in. They're going on a crawfish roller coaster right now. There's something. Oh, my God. Hello, babies. How's it going? Who shall be sacrificed the ninja? Is it you? Shall it be you? It is you. We should go upstairs real quick. Let's go ahead and sacrifice this little guy, the ninja. Well, what up, Slayers? And like I said, we're going to get right into it. Ninja, are you hungry? Come on, buddy. Come on. Come on. Go ahead. Get into something. Oh, my gosh. Whoa. That was probably the hardest eat I've ever had from him. Never seen that before. That was a loud clap. Let's go ahead and roll that back. Come on, go ahead. Get into something, oh my gosh! God, wasn't that insane, insane bro? bro? So guys, based on today's title, we're freaking out. We're freaking out, we're freaking out because my mom, my crayfish mom, Crayola. Whoa, we're about to blow our way up in this thing. Move that over there. We're trying to make a video, fan. Has gone wild. Now, if you can see here, these babies are massive and we have 90% of our babies. Thank God. 90%. Thank God. God. Thank God. This is wild. Because she has been going nuts. She's evil and she's starting to eat her babies. Now, I haven't been able to really catch her on camera eating them, but we've seen them. The time has come. We need to go ahead and set up enclosures and get them to their new home. I've been feeding them three to four times a day and they have been blowing up. Let's go ahead and take a look. Look at them go. They're eating right now, enjoying their best life. So they'll actually clean, as you can see, they'll eat and do everything they're supposed to do. They're looking so great and so blue. They really do like this pot. I gotta get another pot. What do you mean? What do you mean, what do you mean? Got you a little gift. I told everybody you a gift. I bring a gift every time. Yeah, you're right, right. What you get me? A pot! <laughs> a pot! Hooray! <laughs> another pot! So they're actually not gonna be for the babies. I think we should put the pot with Captain America. Let's see how Captain America's doing. Hello, Captain America. What's going on? Look how evil he looks. He's so evil. So what we're gonna do is, I hate this little setup right here. I hate the gravel, I hate the substrate. So in the bathroom right now, what we got going on is we have some substrate growing. Let's go over there. Now oh, you're in my bathroom, Slayers. And we have substrate all over the place, and we have the substrate here. We're gonna go ahead and use that substrate right here and switch Captain America's tank right now. Oh God, oh God. Carrying a billion buckets upstairs was really hard because we had to do it for this tank and everything. Anthony, what you doing? I am getting it done. All right, so he's gonna be getting all of, of the substrate out. We're siphoning everything out, getting ready for Captain America's new tank. And the best way to do that is to siphon out all the gravel and everything. But first, we must turn off the pumps before we die. <laughs> Literally. Oh my God, gosh, he looks so good. Oh my God. He looks amazing. Good. Let's go ahead and get him to his bucket now while we go ahead and handle this. No, please. No. 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 All right, guys, look, there he is. He is wild blue, red, and white. That is why he is Captain America. So, all right, we're gonna get this little thing out so it can feel at home. We're gonna add this back down here. Look at that. That's why I don't like this gravel. Yeah, bro. You get black thumb. So we're gonna go ahead and grab Captain America. But guys, look at the colors on him. He's gonna honestly not trust me anymore after this. We're gonna have to train him again. But let's see, look at the battle. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> he's crazy. Oh! Oh, look at him. He wants in. Ooh. He's Ooh. going crazy. He's going wild. All right. Uh-oh. I got him down. Oh, oh, Pin oh, them down. oh, Pin them down. oh, hold, hold. All right. He got me. You saw that? <laughs> yeah. All right. So we got our guy. And as you can see, he's still savage. Let's go ahead and take a look at him in the light with the colors. Oh, my gosh. My finger Beautiful. hurts from that. But look at those colors right there. The white on his bands right here. The claws. He looks great. We're going to add him in here and get his tank set up. We'll see you in a second. God zero. I'm just messing, guys. He looks so good. He's growing up. We're going to be doing something with you very soon, like I said before. But, guys, I love this tank. This tank is great. It lives its best life with me. Y'all want to eat? Oh, baby, look at him go. It's so hard to watch them die in the future. But for now, they are our pets. The maracas. All right, so... Well, Anthony's working on this, which is, we're, we're about done. We got lake water and everything going on here, and the new sand, and everything's looking prime. Thanks to you, bro, and thanks for that little pot. That's what I'm talking about, and I appreciate you for all that type of stuff we got going on here. But first, we shall feed shrimp pellets to the bait tank. How many cichlids does it take to get to the center of, I don't know where I was going with that, but yeah. Go forth. 
I was trying to say something funny, but here you are, guys. <laughs> but um, I really do enjoy my mines. Looking very good, very healthy, actually. Everything's looking prime. I do got to do a little scrubbing or whatever, but I do it all the time. But today, the focus is on the evil Mama Craw. All right, Slayers. So here is Captain America. Let's go ahead and grab him before it's too late. Oh, don't fight me this time. Look at that, guys. He is so gorgeous. He's so good. Now, this is the lake water we added, which is the same temperature as this. And we have Anthony here adding its new home. Go ahead. You got this. Mm. Anytime. Mm. Quickly, the Slayers are waiting. Don't be <laughs> failing the Slayers. There we are. Oh, man. That looks good. Very That's good. perfect. He'll be able to go ahead and eat out of there. But with that being said, let's go ahead and add this guy. Captain America, welcome to your new home. Be free! Oh, yeah. He's That's so what I'm talking about. He's gorgeous. Precious. He looks a lot better now with that substrate. Now, let's give that substrate a uh, thumbs up. He's like, oh, look at my new home. I love it. I love it so much. Thank you, Anthony. Guys, go ahead and give this guy a follow on Instagram. If you have an Instagram, go ahead and follow him with the ladies. Oh, me. Yeah. Go ahead and definitely slide into his DM. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. So, talking about ladies. Mama Crawl's eating our stuff. We need Mama to get Crow's her out. not being a mommy. Crayola is being evil. She's not being a good mommy. We gotta get her out now. All right, Slayer, so we decided to go ahead with the help of Anthony, which on top of him helping me, he's also going to be taking some other baby crawfish home. And it's a little hot in here as well. We have a little crawfish <laughs> layer. Check it out, guys. We have a nine gallon, a five gallon, and another five gallon. So all of this stuff right here is going to be perfect for our baby crawfish. Now, I'm sure everyone's going to be like, oh my God, they're going to get sucked through the filter. Worry not, guys. We have filter fiber, and it's got to actually cover those holes right there. So we're going to get that handle first, and we're going to set it up, and we're going to move our baby crawfish. Let's get it. All right, guys. Remember when I said I was going to go ahead and use this to go ahead and clog the holes? Well, there they are. See? Now, the baby crawfish can make it through, but when this is wet, water will still travel through the gradient and then still pump clearly. So we're going to be doing that to all of the following tanks and the future tanks as well, on top of the ones that don't have crawfish because this helps with making sure it's there's no poo-poo-poo. Look at them. They're crawling on her butt. There's so many now. They're so well developed, so it's definitely time. And um, Anthony actually saw her eat one, right? Yeah, it was not... A good oh, that that kind of hurt. That kind of hurt. You know what I've done for you? I've done a lot. The Slayers have done a lot. What we're gonna go ahead and do is move them into this bucket right here, and get them into their new enclosures. Okay? So they're they're looking good. They're looking good. Hey, relax. Look, she's still fanning them out. So we're probably gonna. It's gonna be tough, but we're gonna separate them from her mom because she can't be eating them. That's just not cool. Look at Captain America. He's there. He made a little home, a little hole. See. Thanks, man. Yeah, I appreciate you. Anytime. This is a really cool little gift. That's exactly what I was looking for, actually. Another pot to go ahead and match this pot. So without further ado, let's go ahead and add some water. The time has come where we're going to move our baby crawfish. So I don't know, maybe we should do it through like a little fish roller coaster or something, like a great fish roller coaster, because it might be safer instead of handling them with a net. So it's going to work out for the best of us. Are you ready? Are you ready to go ahead and get your baby sucked up? Because you're evil. you evil mom. Here you go, guys. We might see a lot of baby crawfish go crazy we're gonna first move the egyptian breeding pot oh it's stuck oh there they a are million babies million babies million. look here's the here's proof right here guys here's proof. proof that's proof right there that she's been eating them so we're gonna move that out of the way you stay there and look at all these babies there's so many of them and on top of that guys we have some in the bucket already and there's some big ones in here so we're going to move them right now to this bucket. But look at that, guys. There's so many. There's so much stuff going on. But they're cleaners. They're tank cleaners. We're going to go ahead and make sure that Crayola is hooked up with a very nice, clean tank after this. But we're going to have to move all these babies. Look at that. So many blue babies. So there is the shrimp net, and here's everything we need. So this is exactly made with these tanks to go ahead and scoop up everything. So we're going to try siphoning them first and see what happens. All right, Slayer. So the time has finally come where we put our crawfish to the test. They're going on a crawfish roller coaster right now but it's not too far it's nothing crazy not like the goldfish roller coaster so here we go we're gonna go ahead and get them going down their roller coaster are you ready make sure to keep your hands and feet inside the vehicle at all times and it shall begin now boom sucked up all of them are getting sucked up as you can see they're getting like probed moving our baby crawfish oh my god this is crazy! Sucked up. They're getting... It's like they're getting abducted. Look at them, boom. 
But this is definitely a lot smarter than the net. All right, all right, that's just about done. Whew. All right, we're almost out of water. But if you can see right now, guys, baby crawfish. we have our baby crawfish right here. <gasps> Look, they're in the tube. Look in the tube. They're in the tube. See? Oh, yeah, they can see right there. Be free, my friends. Be free. So there they are. They have food, everything in the meantime, so it's gonna work out for the best, but look how big they are. They're so much bigger, so we're gonna be separating these specifically into their new tanks right now. All right, guys, so as you can see, we still have a lot to deal with here, but in order to get them off Mama Crawl, you have to tap her, and she gets mm -hmm. mad, and she just launches them off her tail, and that's exactly what happens. So here's Mama Crawl. We're gonna take her out real quick, and we're gonna go ahead and take a good look at her right here. Good look. We have some babies in there, so we put that in there, but what we got in here? What we got in here? More a bunch of baby crows. More baby crows. Well, Crayola is very, very mad, and she's just hiding here. She's very upset that we have to go ahead and remove her babies, but it's because she was eating them. So you get what you get. You eat your babies, we take your babies. So with that being said, look at all the babies in here. There's so many freaking babies in here. It is absolutely insane. I'm going to show you exactly how many there are. All right, Slayer, so as you can see, we have hundreds and hundreds of babies. Look at that cloud. Look at that cloud of babies we have. We have so many babies. Guys, in the comments below, count how many babies we actually have. There are actually millions and millions of baby crawfish right here, guys. I hope you enjoyed this episode. What we're going to go ahead and do is donate these to Anthony. Shout out to Anthony. Go ahead and hooking it up. And surprise catch them on fishing with a couple. So stay tuned for that.